and guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ray Johnson today I'll be showing you how to actually remotely connect into your server now I'm on the local computer so I'm um, from here I'm gonna go to the Windows icon I'm gonna right click and go to systems of course I'm gonna be turning on remote desktop okay so there from there you go to remote desktop and ensure that's turned on okay so next I'm going to go to the sharing center to ensure that network discovery is turned on so from here you click on that and you're going to click on where it says network and sharing center at the top left hand corner you're going to click on change advanced sharing settings and on all the networks i'm going to ensure that the network discovery is turned on so as you can see ensure those are turned on on the local computer okay that is good look at that okay so yeah that's that's good and you're going to ensure that password is turned off yeah and then you'd save the changes okay so that's good so next you'd go to the server let's go to the server okay so i'm going to go ahead and log in as you can see is that's the domain controller that we're logging into Okay, so now that I'm logged in, I'm basically going to go ahead and do the same thing. Go to Systems, and I'm going to ensure that Remote Desktop is actually turned on. So go to Remote Desktop. Okay, it's turned on, so that is also good. Next, I'm going to try to get to the Sharing Center. Okay. Now I'm going to ensure that network discovery is basically turned on. Okay, so let me turn that on because that's actually turned off. And turn on file and printer sharing too, guys. Okay, that's turned on. That's good. Turn on that one. Okay, you can save your changes now guys and you should be good to go from here guys so what you're going to do next is that you're basically going to go back to your local computer and i'm just going to pull up the remote desktop app so i can remotely connect to the server okay so basically i have already set it up that the ip address for the server so you can use the server ip address or the computer name so I'm going to use that. And as you can see, guys, it says username. It's going to be the domain controller slash the username. Okay. And you put in a password when it asks you. Okay. So as you can see, guys, I'm now logging into the server remotely. Yes, guys. So this is how you actually sign into your Windows server using a local computer. So guys, if you have any questions, be sure to actually leave your comments on this video. Give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Thank you for watching. You take care. Bye-bye.